Before the 1960s, the only people wearing blue jeans were manual laborers in need of sturdy outerwear. Then jeans became hip. Nowadays, you see them everywhere, from fancy restaurants to Broadway theaters. Even so, there are still people who wear jeans for the same reasons they did 100 years ago. And there's still at least one company that makes them for hard work instead of high fashion. Some folks work in an office. Others wear their offices. You'll find them in their overalls from early to late. And if you want to find rugged overalls that are still made in America, there's always Roundhouse in Shawnee, Oklahoma. The town of Shawnee was founded in the late 19th century to facilitate America's western expansion. As a major railroad hub, it became a gateway to the far west. Shawnee was already a boom town in 1903 when Roundhouse began making overalls for all those boomers to work in, whether they were farmers or railway men. The president of Roundhouse is Jim Antosh. You started with the railroad workers. That's right, man. I named it the Roundhouse after the Roundhouse is here in town. The Roundhouse is the old repair station for the steam locomotive. It's like this is the repair station for Rock Island. They would turn the train around there. That's right. They, they would come in, there. and then they have a big turntable. And right, and they would have different stalls to work on different parts of the locomotive. Several rail lines met in Shawnee, including the Santa Fe and Rock Island, both of which had songs written about them. You see, there's the, the 1,100 people of Rock Island, all overall wearers. Well, the Rock Island line is a mighty good line. That's right. All those overall wearers in the early 20th century had less legitimate reason to wear overalls by the 1940s, when steam engines were being phased out in favor of diesel locomotives, which didn't spend much time in the roundhouse. By then, though, the noun had also become a brand name that would survive its namesake. And we are uh, Oklahoma's oldest manufacturing company that's still in existence. Was it always family? Was the same family? No, it's been three different families, but it's always been locally owned. Jim's father, Edward Antosh, bought Roundhouse in 1964. Good timing, as it turned out, with young people buying every piece of denim they could get their legs in. Jim took the company reins in 1986 and brought in his two sons. Their motto seems to be that not all overalls are created equal. Well, the stripe is your dress overall. This is your church, Sunday go to meeting overall, and you're even buried in the stripe, where your blue is your work day overall, okay. and your brown is your rugged uh, overall with the double knee patches. Oh, this is the heavy work. Oh, I see, because you've got a double pad there. That's right. Overalls are designed to hold every tool of the trade, whatever your trade might be. Maybe even accounting. This is the perfect melding of form and function. No wonder the overalls design hasn't changed in 100 years. Roundhouse overalls are usually made of cotton denim that comes from mills in Georgia and South Carolina. Each roll can weigh as much as 800 pounds. Joe uses a spreader to roll the denim onto a table that's 105 feet long. Before cutting, the fabric is stacked up to 72 layers high. Any flaws in the fabric will be spotted, flagged, and removed. This whole cut, when it's done, will produce uh, nearly 1,300 overalls. How many miles of this do you go through in a week? Six miles a week. The 20 or so different shapes that comprise each pair of overalls used to be cut with leather patterns. Today, a computer maximizes quality and minimizes waste. But the cutting is still done by hand using a power saw. This is highly skilled work. It can be very dangerous to the digits, which explains why Ron wears a steel mesh glove. It takes quite a bit of skill to do this operation. Yes. You can mess up a lot of overalls very quickly. No other article of clothing is as practical as overalls. You'll have pieces like the pencil pockets, the center bib, the side pockets, the bib pieces, backs and back pockets, and the hammer straps. And who puts all this stuff together? Well, the sewing operators do, and they're very good at what they do. A laser-guided stitching machine attaches the back pockets. Meanwhile, the shoulder straps are sewn together. The back panels join, and the signature diamond added. Then Francis constructs the front panels. And Libby puts her hand to the side pockets. 
I've been told you can do any job in this factory. <laughs> Is that a rumor well, or is that right? No, I think I can run just about every machine and do the operation. My job today is closing these pockets. We have to fold this over, and this machine has a trimmer, and it trims off a little bit of the fabric as I sew. That's really a good solid seam, too. Yeah. People like Libby, they're our most skilled workers because they can do any of the 40 different operations and they fill in. But we try to work the schedule. A lot of people have their work done by early afternoon. And also, we work nine-hour days so that most of them have Friday off or at least Friday oh, afternoon off. Oh, okay. So you've probably got employees that have been here for a long time then. A lot of our people here have been over 20 years, and that's why we can still make the United States because of the employees we have. They've been here a long time, they know their work, and they do it well. For some owners, the name Roundhouse takes on an added meaning. So are these the overalls you made for the local champion pancake eater? It would look that way. Of course, overalls wouldn't really be considered overalls without a bib pocket. Beverly assembles it before it's attached to the bib. Wanda works the top buttons that will hook to the suspenders. And Laura puts on the loops and slides that are important for every overall wearer who wants to keep them from falling down. Now Velma sews the front to the back, or is it back to the front? This is our most difficult operation, because if she doesn't hold them just right, the front and back will come out in different lengths. It's a very strong seam, but you have to be real careful the way you hold it. Well, it's also really fast. It takes a lot of time to learn this operation. He's bragging about you, Velma. I hear it. <laughs> Elaine inspects for quality and does a little trimming. At last, the roundhouse overalls are sent to roundhouses and square ones alike all over the world. And no matter what size you are or plan to be, roundhouse has your cover. Thank you, Wait Be Gone.